Susan and I were talking about foundations and the fact we don't own the copyright to the um, clip art and on and on and on. And so how are we going to have a manipulative for reading? And so I took this idea of everything math cards. I'd been chewing on this for a couple of years, actually, and just hadn't had a chance to do it. And we have turned them into everything reading, everything letters. I hadn't come up with a name yet. They're just everything cards. So you have A through Z of what is on your um, foundations village letter chart that we've given you for the kids. Uh, you do have permission. All of this is owned and has licenses. You have permission to air this um, wherever you need to, as long as you are not getting any revenues for pay. The math cards don't matter because I created all of those. That's not purchased clip art. Um, so, except for the hands, but that's uh, something a teacher gave for free and also is not requiring loyal royalties. Loyalties, ha ha. Uh, I was going to spend money on a yellow crayon, and Susan said, nope, make your own. So I did. Then you have one of each of the most used consonant sounds. You will find that a few have been left off. I, once again, had to keep this on three sheets of paper. And um, we will move on to an expansion pack with more things for beginning sounds, for medial sounds, and so forth coming throughout the year. So there's several different ways to play with these. Um, the first is that once you've introduced five or six letters, or let's say the whole alphabet, the parents take those um, letters out or take the alphabet cards out. You can play war. So how did I do that? Well, I turned over an A. You turned over a T. Ah, I have a thumbs up. You have a thumbs up. Do not do I declare war. So in top it, we just turn it over one more. I turned over S, and I have to say it. S, snake, S. And you turned over er, uh, r, rat, er. I have the thumbs down. You have the thumbs up. So you win all four cards. So that's how I was able to make letters into a top it or war game. All right. So the of course you can play memory by taking out the consonants that match the additional cards, which will not be all twenty six. So you'd get out N, and this is, you know, 9, so you'd get out N, 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 and 9. You'll tell the parents what cards to get out. I would really start small. I mean, I might even start with 8 cards total, 4 pairs, to really get this down for some kids. All depends on their experience with games, and you can play memory. Once again, there are not 26 matches in the expansion beginning sound cards. Vowels have been left out, and I think we're missing a couple other um, consonants, but at this very moment, I don't remember which ones I took out. When I did, I'll let you know and tell you why. All right, so anyway, playing um, Top It or War, you simply play by using the thumbs up or thumbs down on the cards. Okay, the next game you can play, we'll use the expansion pack, is you can play syllable top it. You turned over P. Oh, you've only got one beat. So this doesn't matter down here now. We're, we're doing top it with beats. I got zipper. I have more syllables than you do, so I win. Same thing. Don't forget to use this at the end. Finally, every card with a smiley face in the corner has a rhyming pair in the deck. And a few of them, mat, cat, uh, no, it's cat, rat, hat, and bat. There are actually four, but I didn't do any threesomes. Oh boy, that sounded great. Woo, I am tired. So, um, I made sure that, that if there were more pairs in a word family, that that came out to an even number. And so you can play memory with that um, to find the rhyming words, or you can just have them get those cards out in the very beginning and match those rhyming words. And who knows? Let me know what else you can come up with. That was the most my COVID brain could come up with uh, in July. So here we go. 
regular t um, foundations cards are rat and then don't forget the er you know don't forget your um, hand signals if you're new and you don't know what I'm talking about please go see Emmy Markham's to make sure that you have a handout of all the hand signals that go with our letter sounds. Uh, if you want to play war or top it, you simply use the thumbs up or thumbs down. Can't see what I'm doing uh, on the cards. That's how you determine who gets more. If you're going to play war or top it with syllables, forget the things at the bottom. And you're just seeing... Who has more syllables, robot or moon? Okay, and then the person with the most syllables wins. And finally, if the card has a smiley face in the corner, that means it has a matching rhyme in the deck. So you can simply say to parents, take out all the smiley face cards, or even the kids. I think we can help them with that as we go along, and you will be able to uh, then find the rhyming pairs. All right, expansion pack for this will be coming too as well. We'll look after September 28th um, on w whether they'll be going home in packs or whether you in the classroom will need to choose if you simply want now a small group set for the expansion pack. And uh, if you, as you're playing this, come up with ideas, uh, a type of card that you're like, ooh, I wish I had this kind of card in the pack, let me know because... Um, these are brand new, and this is all I've made so far. So the field is wide open for suggestions. Let me know if you have any questions. I will eventually get to a handout that goes through all of this, but if everybody could give me at least a, a week, week and a half, I would really appreciate it. So there you go, Village Peeps. The Everything Cards. I hope they serve you really well. See you soon.